Hey guys, it's Brianna and I am back again for another video and this time I'm joining you here from my bedroom floor. And we're sitting down here because if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, you probably remember a video that I did right before Vlogmas from last year where I went through a box of a bunch of stuff from my childhood and there were two things in the video that I didn't quite get to and I mentioned oh maybe during Vlogmas at some point if I'm like lacking on the vlog or there's not enough content I will dive into these. That never happened and I do still want to go through them so I figured I would just make a part two to that video and I am finally getting around to it. So we're gonna go through these two little things that were in that box. If you didn't already watch the first part of the video you should watch that first and then come back here. From what I gathered in the last video I believe this is a continuation of that first um, folder that I went through from preschool. So this is like the older preschool years. And then this, I believe, is a notebook from middle school, like a journal that they made us write that like the teacher would check every day or something. If you see me looking here at all while I'm filming, it's because I have my viewfinder there so that I can see what you guys are seeing so that if I'm like showing you something, I can, you know, look to the side and see if it's actually you know in focus getting in the shot so if you see me looking that way i apologize i am not avoiding you it is because i'm trying to make sure that what you're seeing looks great in the camera okay so i think it only makes sense to start with this one and i will say that after i filmed that video i did flip through this one a little bit um and then i was like i should really do a video on this one so i do know a few of the things in here but i didn't like completely read it front cover to back cover Let's take a look. The first entry is from September 14th, 1999. So I was three at the time. Brianna is doing very well in preschool. She often plays with Virginia, Lily, and Maddie. If you guys remember from the last video, those names, Virginia, Lily, and Maddie, kept coming up and I was like, why do I kind of remember them? I asked my mom actually about it and she remembered all of them but she most specifically remembered the girl, Virginia, and my mom gave me some details about her. She didn't know her last name or anything, but she knew the town that she lived in and stuff like that. So I actually am pretty sure I found Virginia on Facebook and I may or may not have sent her a message. It didn't look like she was super active on Facebook though, so she never responded and I'm gonna assume that's why and not because she thought I was creepy or anything. Let me see if I can find the message. If I can, I will read it to you. Yeah, it doesn't look like she's viewed the message, but I wrote, Hi, this is going to sound super weird, but I had to ask, lol. Did you happen to go to, insert preschool name here, for preschool? I recently found the journal that the preschool teachers would write back and forth, write in back and forth, and I think we used to be best friends. Almost every entry from the teachers mentions a girl named Virginia, and my mom was pretty certain your last name was, insert last name here, Sorry if this comes off creepy, I just had to ask. And then I ins included photos of the actual entries so that she could read them for herself. And um, she never responded to me, so. Virginia, girl. Supposed to be my bestie, what happened? <laughs> so this is the Halloween page per the sticker you can see. And my mom wrote that I wanted to be a gorilla for Halloween. What kind of child, what kind of little girl especially? wants to be a gorilla for Halloween. But not gonna lie, at some point in my college years, I did dress up like a giant monkey, so I guess not much has changed. Um, so they settled on a clown costume, and I'm gonna see if I can get my mom to send me a photo of this clown costume because she has a framed photo of me in that costume in our house, and it is maybe one of the most embarrassing photos of me. Ooh, okay, so in this book, it's around the time when my mom got pregnant with my brother. So one of the teachers wrote, Brianna also told me mommy was having a baby and that it was going to be a boy, but she doesn't know what his name is yet. Ooh, we got some dramatics. November 15th, 1999. Tonight, Brianna spent some time in the ER. She had to get stitches. I'm sure she will tell you all about it. Brianna and Justin, my older brother, were jumping and playing on mom and dad's bed and Brianna hit her head on the headboard. Yes, I still have a scar under my eyebrow. According to my dad, they had to have a plastic surgery, a plastic surgery, 
they had to have a plastic surgeon do the stitches otherwise i'd have like one janked up eyebrow and my eyebrow is a little bit messed up because of the scar but it probably would have been worse oh my god my mom said i asked her how does that song go no more monkeys jumping on the bed she just looked at me and said i don't want to sing that right now <laughs> Oh my god, this part I read before when I told you I was flipping through this and I was cracking up. I sent a picture of it to my cousin. So my mom writes, Brianna's new baby girl cousin was born last Thursday, February 3rd. Her name is Kirsten. We went to visit her and Auntie Laura and Uncle Bobby in the hospital on Saturday. Brianna want nothing to do with the baby. She just wanted to leave the hospital. Brianna told me later that she wanted our baby to come out. She didn't want a cousin. Although when she found out the baby was born, all she talked about was going to see the baby. Sorry, Kirst. Love you. Oh, we've got an improvement with cousin Kirsten. Brianna visited her baby cousin Kirsten this weekend. She did much better visiting at her house than at the hospital. Brianna even held the baby and was very friendly. Okay, we made an improvement. Ooh, exciting day on March 15th, my mom writes. I'm sure you already know that Brianna has a new baby brother, Ryan Anthony, AKA Brett. He was born at 2.33 a.m. on March 13th. Then the teacher writes, congratulations, Brianna is so proud of her new baby brother. She tells everyone that she's a big sister, blah, 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 blah. And here that thing about Brett comes up again. Brianna told us that her baby brother's name was Brett but grandma told us that it was Ryan. So I read that Brett part and I texted my mom and I asked her about it. And she said she didn't remember it and she wrote, maybe that was your name for him. Are there any other references in the book? And I said, yes, apparently I told everyone his name was Brett. And my mom said, I actually like it, LOL. So apparently she didn't remember that, but I had officially decided that my brother's name was Brett and not Ryan. And I don't think I knew any Bretts at the time, so I don't know where I got that name from. Oh, battery low. Let me switch out the battery so we can keep on going. Okay, we're back in action. Okay, this is May 4th. My teacher writes, Today Brianna told me a story about a little girl who was sleeping, and when she opened her eyes, she saw a person with horns on her head. But then, when she went to sleep, the little girl didn't see the person with the horns anymore. My mom writes back, I asked Brianna if she was the little girl with the horns, and she said, yes. I said that means you're a little devil and she just gave me that smile. She told me it was a dream. Brianna has been a little devil lately. She doesn't like to listen unless Kevin gives her the one, two, three. Kevin is my dad. Brianna is a definite Gemini. She is lovable and sweet one minute and is grumpy and mean the next. Hopefully it's just a stage. All right, I'm gonna move on to this one now. I don't know if there's gonna be anything interesting in here because I think it was something like the teachers had to read, so I don't know if I would put anything too interesting. But remember when people had to write with pencils? I could not imagine now having to write that much with a pencil. That's crazy. Oh, it does seem that I switched to pen at some point. Oh my gosh, this is when everyone tried to make their handwriting like this. Can you see that? like that bubbly handwriting that everyone wanted to have oh my god <laughs> the way this is written just sounds like a middle school girl this weekend my schedule is booked on friday i'm going to strength and sisters strength and sisters is a group at the boys and girls club it is for girls only from 3 30 to 4 30 p.m it is fun <laughs> i remember that i think i only went to a few of those meetings but it was like i don't know this like being a strong girl Kind of club. This is so random. I wrote, Friday is Hanukkah. Even though I don't celebrate it, I wanted to mention it. <laughs> and then I just go on to say other stuff. Ooh, I wrote, on the 21st, I'm going on the school ski trip. All of my friends are going. Well, except a few. The only thing is that one of my friends keeps forgetting to pass in her money and rental and safety forms, so I don't think she'll get to go. Ooh, see? I was like shading my friends in my journal. I did name the friend, but I'm not gonna read the name. Oh my god, I wrote about how I played Sims with one of my friends, and we would totally not even play it. We would just literally murder the Sims. Did you guys do that? Or was that just like a weird thing that we did? We'd like put them in the swimming pool and take the ladders out, or put them in the kitchen and turn the oven on and like take the doors out, so then the whole thing would catch on fire. Sounds problematic now that I'm saying it out loud, but that's 
that's all we used to do. Oh, apparently on January 27th, I got braces. Dramatic. <laughs> Drama. I'm gonna change the name because I, I doubt this person watches the videos, but I, I don't wanna put their name on the internet. So I wrote, on Tuesday, the braces didn't hurt. What did happen was Arnold sits next to me in science and he said that I had braces. I told him that I had them Monday too, but he didn't believe me. I told him I got them on Friday, so he asked people in the class if I had them the day before, and they said yes. He told us we were all liars and that I got them Tuesday. He still doesn't believe me. Boy drama. Oh my god. I wrote about two different teachers. I'm going to change the names, but I wrote, Mr. Garrison. Today, Mr. Tony was absent in history, so we had Mr. Garrison as a substitute. It was fun having Mr. Garrison because we don't have to do notes all class. He also lets us do homework after we finish our classwork. Mr. Garrison is a great substitute. And then I must have remembered that like my teacher's gonna read this and she might tell the other teacher. So then I wrote, Mr. Tony, I like him too, but Mr. Garrison is more fun. Shh, don't tell Mr. Tony, ha ha. Mr. Tony makes us do notes all class and it is really boring. I hope we don't do notes all year. I would rather him give us the notes and not make us go over them. It is wicked boring. Oh my God, I wrote about when I, what I did in the morning and I wrote this morning I woke up at 5.50 a.m. and I took a shower. Then I got dressed, got ready, brushed my teeth, did my makeup. In what world is a middle schooler getting up at 5.50? Do people still do that? Cause that sounds crazy to me that a student would have to get up at 5 50 a.m to shower and get ready before school dang Ooh, dramatic i'm on the last page and at the bottom i'm writing about a poem that i liked called love that cat and at the bottom i wrote by the way the rest is in the second notebook but i didn't find a second notebook in that box so I guess it will be a mystery why I loved the Love That Cat poem so much. This video was sort of random, but I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below and let me know your favorite childhood memory from like middle school or elementary school, or if you can remember all the way back to like preschool toddler age, let me know one of your favorite memories or like funniest memories, because I definitely want to hear it. And that's gonna do it for this video. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and make sure you give it a like. I will talk to you next time. Bye.